Hello, you are listening to Cut Pathways, a podcast produced by Carnegie Mellon University. I'm Catherine Barbera. And I'm Dave Bernabo. This podcast dives into the university's archive of recorded oral histories to showcase the people that have made Carnegie Mellon what it is. We record the real-life memories and perspectives of those who experience the history of Carnegie Mellon University. And this season, we're looking at Steel City Outsiders and the Institutional Avant-Garde. Or... Or the story of how Oakland, our neighborhood here in Pittsburgh, emerged as an unlikely center for avant-garde and experimental arts in the 1970s. So this season, we are diving into stories about how this happened, as told by the people who were actually there. When I was working at the museum, the director came through and I said, we should start a film department here. This is the, the 20th century art form. We should have this, we should be doing this. And he said, oh, go ahead and start it if you want. <laughs> They're stories about starting something new, about not necessarily having a plan or funding, but finding a way to do it anyway. I had the, the good fortune to meet Selma Burke, and she came to see me. I had just sort of founded Manchester Craftsman's Guild in the 60s. I was a one-man band. I sort of ran the program, raised the money, and made pottery all at the same time in a row house. There's stories about finding belonging, community, and forging new creative forms. Oh, well, I could I could write a book about, <laughs> about it about uh, what went on. I mean, it was a very important thing for me because it became the center of my social life. So we're talking about avant-garde film. We're talking about punk. We're talking about electronic art. We're talking about how computers changed art and music and arts communities themselves. Thank you for listening to Cut Pathways.